sure that all of this lays flat when you stitch across it. Same with this end. Make sure you get that elastic in there. And then I'm just going to do a few rows of quilting across the black. Again, I'll use pink thread so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start by stitching across here. Do a few rows of quilting, stitch across this line here, and then we're going to stitch up each side. I have to interrupt you just for a moment. This area here that we're going to quilt, if you have my custom stitch on your machine, you can design your own stitches through here, which would be a lot of fun. You could also have fun with lettering or any of the decorative stitches on your brother machine. This is your creative license to do whatever you want in that section. Remember, you're the designer. Find that laser light right up on the edge of that fold. So we're stitching about an eighth of an inch from the edge again. And I'm going to change my stitch length to 3.0. wide of a space we need for the nail polish, if we want separate compartments, and possibly the nail polish remover. So if I want the nail polish remover, I would need to stitch a line about right here. And I'm going to stitch, just lay this nice and flat and stitch right across from the elastic all the way down to the black area. And that will give me one compartment for the nail polish remover. And then my nail polish is each, you know, a little bit wide, but I think I can fit, if I take a pin about right here, I think I'm going to pin it first and just test that that will really work. And then I'm going to stitch another line from right here all the way, just for my fingers showing. Two lines will give me three compartments for nail polish and the polish remover. Bag, the last thing we have to do is put in the zipper and put it all together. Again, this is Angela Wolf. See you next time on Brothersews.com. <laughs>